Hey everyone, it's FJ. I just received a great box from Flower Muse and I want to go over some basic care and handling with you so that you get the most enjoyment out of your flower. So the box arrived. I had to cut the outer straps off, open the box up, and you're going to find there's a heavy duty cinch strap at the bottom holding the roses in. I've already unpackaged this one. But you're going to have to cut that. I recommend using some clippers or some heavy scissors. Snip through that. There'll be a little bit of padding on there. Remove the padding. And you're going to pull out the beautiful roses. In this case, it's Silverstone, a beautiful lavender. Now, I don't want you unpacking these right away. They just arrived. They're a little bit tired. So ideally, what you want to do is you're going to snip off about a half inch to an inch of each of the stems. I've already cut these. Clip them all off and then hydrate them in a bucket of clean water and let them stay there anywhere from two hours to overnight whatever works best for you and your time schedule. Now, once they've had a chance to drink, they're gonna perform a lot better. So, they're doing their drinking thing now, and when they're done, this is what I suggest. Okay, they've spent time hydrating, so they're gonna be performing a lot better. Now, what you can go back and do is remove the cardboard sleeving. Carefully, you pull that off. And what you'll see is that the roses are actually packaged if it's a traditional 25 stem buds are going to be packaged in two layers. So you actually have a higher layer and then a lower layer below. So this is what I like to do with them. Lay them down, cut off the rubber bands, remove all the strapping. And then what I'll do is I'll take, since they're in two layers, see here I take and create two different piles I create the shorter layer and then the longer layer separate those into two piles go back to shorter now be, there's gonna be one extra one sort of jammed in there put them in with the short guys okay longer or more longer more cardboard packaging four of the shorter and you're left with four of the longer. So now you have two piles of two different stem lengths. The super long guys that were on top and the other guys that were inside and were protected. So, now I did a talk this past week with my great friends at Simon Pierce in Greenwich and Flower Muse was kind enough to sponsor the flowers. And I was surprised a lot of people came up and said, what do you do with them or how do you design them? Now, I am not a designer by any stretch of the imagination but I think there's some basic tips that I can show you that'll help you feel more comfortable. So the whole idea of you receiving the flowers is to have some fun with them. So I've chosen one square picture, which I think square objects are easier to work with because you can almost do it like a mathematical equation. And then I picked a, a round flare Simon Pierce face also. So we're gonna take the long guys um, and I'm just gonna sort of eye it and figure out sort of what height. I think they're a pretty good height I'm going to chop a little bit more off of them. And then what I like to do is I'll grab one stem at a time and I clean them up. And I don't like to see any foliage below the line of the, the vase itself. So I'll make sure that I don't have any foliage falling down. I think we're going to be in good shape. Sort of go one in each corner at this point. Start there. These are gorgeous, a very, very soft lavender. You'll notice I don't have a ton of water in the vase. I'm not big on putting water in uh, a lot of it because I think the more you put in it, the more chance for bacteria on the stems to uh, get into the stem itself and cause the rose or whatever flower not to perform as well. So I'd rather refill, clean the water a couple times instead of filling it up once. Sort of what I'm doing too is now that I've done the corners, I'm just going to put one in between each one of the corners, sort of in the center. Go from there, and then I've got a couple stems left, and I'm going to stick those in the middle. Now the nice thing is if you leave some of the foliage on, the foliage will actually help prop the stems up when they're resting against the other ones. So this is actually a very nice long stem rose. Okay, and you can see it took me no time whatsoever to do that. So 
not bad for a, a quick one. So now let's go on to the smaller one. Same ideas, I'm just gonna pick a height. This I'm gonna do something low and a little bit tighter. So what I usually do is sort of, you can do two things, you can sort of gauge one, take one stem, and just sort of say, okay, where do I want it to be? Okay, I'm gonna go about that high. You can then cut it, check it in the vase, say you like the height, and say, okay, I'm gonna go for it. Lay that one down on the entire rest of the stems, and then I can just sort of use that as a guide to cut them. All right, that's what we did. So that one, same idea, just take them one by one. Remove any of the foliage you don't wanna see. Like I said, I don't like to have any of the foliage below the glass line. This one, because it's round, I'm just gonna sort of work around first. matter of minutes I will have taken this awesome bunch of roses from Ecuador our friends down in Agragana hello to Alvaro Jose Rafael and Alexandra and I can use the last couple stems as I said the foliage will help because it'll sort of help me be able to prop them up And there we go. Not bad. So I think we've got showed you two sort of different ways you can use them. Use the long ones and something taller, the shorter ones and something a little bit tall, shorter. This one obviously can be cut down a little bit tighter. I think that's what I'll do when we're done here. So thanks a lot. Enjoy your roses.